my name is Greg and welcome to Adventures in Scale Modeling. Today's video I will be reviewing four figures made by MK35. Uh, it's, it's a company in France and they are um, four civilians. So I'll be comparing those side by side with some figures by Verlinden and as well some Masterbox figures. And let's... Alright, so what I've got here is I just got all the figures out of the bags and laid out. Overall, they're actually quite a nice looking, um, quite a nice set. I, I am pleased with the purchase. I have a couple concerns, um, and the one being uh, size. These figures are, you know, supposedly 135th, but they're just looking more 132nd to me. Um, and just so you know, my mat is, uh, is inches, not centimeters. So, take a look at this fellow here. This, um, this sawhorse, or the actual saw, is just a real nice piece. Nice detail work there. Now if I had to pick the best one of the bunch, I would think th this one is it. I, I'm really not finding many flaws on it. Uh, it's a good looking figure. Uh, I think I like the pose. It's a nice unique pose. Uh, clean casting. To, for me, I'm like I say, I'm quite happy with it. Sorry about my big fingers there. All right. Now this figure is uh, is called the Farrier, and so I must be getting ready to shoe a horse. And so the figure in, the figure itself is pretty nice, pretty straightforward. Just a fellow with a big, um, you know, sort of a blacksmith's apron on. Try and keep my fingers out of the picture there. Okay, it's a pretty pretty good looking little figure. Not a lot of details to have to worry about that could go wrong or anything. What's impressive is uh, he's got a, a shoe there that he's working. Hopefully that shows up all right. Mm -hmm. yeah, decent looking face on him. And the anvil. And a nice looking piece. So, overall, pretty happy with it. And what we're looking at here is the, uh, this is the fellow that's uh, sawing up wood. Hopefully this will come in okay. Okay. Real cool looking figure, you know, based on the art. But, ah, it's just probably not the best casting job. Especially when you look right in here, there's just some rough casting and... Little, it's a little frustrating, you know, when you're paying a premium price for a premium figure, you would, uh, you would like to get something that's free of such obvious flaws. So, there we go. Yeah, so, there, that is my one disappointment. And I'd have to say this is probably the second best one of the bunch. Uh, neat little guy, he's got a little pot belly on him. You know, pretty, pretty clean casting. You know, all in all, I don't know. These figures are, they, they got you, they have unique poses. Um, they're, I'm not wowed. I don't know if I would buy them again. So, you know, when you're paying a premium price, you tend to get pretty picky. So, just my thoughts. You know, I will use them. I don't regret buying them. 
but like I say, not so sure I would um, look at buying them again. So, get a few little tools there with them as well. I was initially concerned that they seemed a bit more like 132nd um, versus 135th. So what I've done here is I have a, um, um, from the left working right, I have an Alpine figure, the MK35, and then a Verlinden. Um, I would say that the Verlinden looks the most 132nd, um, and I would think that these MK35s, you know, really are a bit big for 135th. Um, but, you know, I'll let you be the judge. Okay, um, yeah, like I say, a little, you could go either way with it, I think, but if I had to say I would judge them a little on the large side. There you have it. Uh, four figures from MK35. Uh, three of them that I'm quite impressed with and very happy with. Uh, one I am disappointed with, uh, that being the fellow with the saw. So, uh, they will get used. I will find a good place for them. I uh, kind of wax and wane in terms of are they 132nd, are they 135th. I think they will look just fine in a 135th setting. So, with that, uh, until next time. Thanks for watching, and please uh, subscribe if you haven't, and give me a like.